Well, the, the, the Russian album, the, the Russian composers, it, it was a CD that we wanted to make already many years. We knew that we were going to make, make this CD one day. Um, but I think it's also a certain repertoire for which you really need you need some sort of maturity and a, and a lot of power as well. I mean, the recordings that we listen to, it's the recordings of Gilels, uh, uh, you know, um, Matsuev, Sokolov, um, 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 uh, Trifonov, they, are, they all have this, this rich, full sound and they have a lot of power and you, you need that power in the Russian repertoire. The recording sessions, they were, in my, in my opinion, in my perspective, they were, they were really tough. Well, it, it, it Exactly what you say. It, it 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 really is. It is powerful. It's powerful music, but it's also powerful like physically. Three days of recording this music, I really felt it in my body that I that I was a little, little tired, a little sore from from playing and putting so much power into the music. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, but you really need that power. You need to be 100% uh, healthy. You need all the strength. And I think five years ago, when we were younger and smaller and and uh, how do you say that less less mature it would have been a very big hill to climb the technical aspect in the, in the russian pieces it's of course it's very big you you need a certain amount of technical abilities to to even just play it not to play it well but just to try to play it um uh, that's point one that is very important and then the second thing is of course it's it's the the musical feeling the musicality and i think for um the average classical audience they will say oh russian music it's you know it's so full it's so rom it has this romantic you know but it's which it has which, which it, it has, has which it has but in i think in the most places it's never just romantic for the sake of romanticism there is always another layer under there um um, in the Shostakovich you hear that very clearly. There is always the feeling of, of fear, a little bit of the, of the suppression, even when it's happy. But also in the Rachmaninoff, which it has beautiful passages, which are just 100% beauty. But for me, and I think the Russian people feel that the most, there's always this nostalgic feeling of, um, of him writing something down on paper, writing the music down knowing that he is missing his homeland at that moment. And even at the most beautiful phrases, I think that that small layer is under there and you have to be aware of that and you have to try to feel it. And I say you have to try to feel it because we are Dutch boys living in the Netherlands, playing music from composers that have lived lives that we, we can only imagine. We have not lived a fraction of those lives, but we have tried, we have tried to, to, to read about them, to feel in a way what they feel um, and to, to translate that into the music. We hope we touched a little bit of that magic which is in the music, which has nothing to do with playing all the right notes or playing exactly the right tempo or, or do exactly, exactly the rubato where it's written, but I think that is what the music needs to go beyond what is perfect.